Hey everybody, this is Mike from Beyond Two Wheels. Uh, it took me a little time, but I'm uh, finally getting together the second day of the uh, Sheet Iron 300. Um, it kind of started out as a crazy day. Uh, there was a really crazy storm throughout the night. Um, my roommate James and I actually had left our sliding glass door open in our hotel room, and the water was literally blowing sideways into the door, so it made for an interesting evening. Um, which, uh, it was kind of neat because after we woke up, um, as you'll see, we woke up to a beautiful sunny day. Um, the forecast called for more rain throughout the day, but I never did see any. So, uh, here's some video, and I hope you enjoy the ride I took home. to sun so it looks beautiful of course right now but uh, the truth was last night was really like a hurricane in here but uh, we're right here in the uh, the harbor here at Fort Bragg under the bridge love that ocean smell okay so I have a little confession I didn't ride the full sheet iron 300 I actually rode the sheet iron 150 I rode the first 150 miles out to Fort Bragg, but after the night storm and the amount of rain that it dropped, I wasn't sure that I wanted to ride dirt roads back home. Also, I wasn't planning on camping back at um, Stony Ford with the rest of the guys, so I had made the decision to take Highway 20 and just ride the road home to be with my family. Um, I did end up seeing James and uh, Tom later on in the day. But it was only for a brief period. Other than that, it was pretty much a solo ride. So, you're just going to see mostly footage of Highway 20 and maybe a little bit of Highway 16 and uh, some footage of the river road close to my house. Enjoy. Some of the guys had gone down to the car wash the previous night to wash their bikes off. Most of us hadn't. As you can see, the storm washed quite a bit of the mud that was caked up on the bikes off onto the ground. I'm sure the proprietors of the hotel really appreciated that. I set off down Highway 20, but I had made a foolish mistake. I was on Highway 1, and I didn't even stop to take a look at the ocean. I wish I had. Maybe next time.
I made my way through Willits and then headed south towards Ukiah, where I turned off again onto Highway 20 and headed east. I stopped at Lake Mendocino to take a few pictures of the bike and considered riding down to the lake, but it looked a little soft. I decided to give my wife and kids a call and let them know I was on my ho way home and everything was going great. I stopped for lunch in a little town called Ginda, just north of Brooks on Highway 16. On my way out, I ran into Tom and James, who had decided to take the same route, apparently. I headed back through Woodland and down I-5, but I decided that I wanted to spend as little time as possible on the freeway, so I opted to take the river road along the Sacramento River south to my home in Galt. Thank you. 